going on guys welcome back to the channel today i got a new video for y'all man today's video is a terrible one man terrible it was a video i was hoping i would never have to make but unfortunately that's the the risk that we take when building a race car man I mean, building cars that make a lot of horsepower um you always risk something going wrong and unfortunately i had something go wrong on my fresh build um so let me start i guess by saying the car's totaled i'm about to show you all the car um but it is totaled there is still you know a lot of good parts still on it that are not damaged or anything i am going to sell everything that i possibly can that's still good um to try at least get some money back but i lost my ass on this build man i spent a lot of money on this build and unfortunately i ended up wrecking the car shortly after getting it done so um i guess let's start by showing y'all the car man all right guys so here's the front of the car front probably doesn't look terrible um the only reason the crash bar is not messed up is because i didn't have it on the car during the accident i went and put it back on a little bit earlier when i went to get the car out of the field that way we can hook a chain to it and pull it out without hopefully hurting anything else but you can see it basically ripped everything off that fender kind of messed up the bottom of the fender that brace is twisted um, ripped the headlights out and the harnesses that go to the headlights this side is relatively fine this is actually y'all's first time seeing the intake too so uh, I've been hiding that from y'all uh, this isn't the way that I wanted to show y'all it, but now y'all get to see it. Y'all can see the car is filthy. And I'll explain to y'all what happened when I show y'all the next part. It ripped off the back bumper. Uh, this door is actually fine. It's super dirty, but this door is actually fine. The other door, not so much. But you can see everything in the engine bay looks fine. It is dirty, but everything in the engine bay is fine. So, um, obviously I'm going to try to sell the engine and, um, sell the headers. If the headers aren't damaged, I'm going to check the headers when I pull them out. The bottoms of them might be damaged. I don't think so because the dumps are still hanging up, but, um, I'm going to check them good, you know. So I'm going to check everything before I do actually sell it to somebody just to make sure it's good. I did start the vehicle. I was going to drive it up on the trailer, but um it was pissing out trans fluid and coolant from the trans cooler right here so um so i didn't i didn't get to drive it up i didn't want i didn't want the car to shoot trans fluid all over the back of the truck so um we just pulled it up um but yeah man so i guess before i show you the side of the car let me show y'all what happened so i was driving the car um recording a log Wanted to make sure, you know, just everything was running right. And in the middle of the log, I started to see a little bit of smoke, like light colored smoke. So obviously, you know, coolant. So immediately, as soon as I saw that, I completely let off the throttle hundred percent. And um, I thought the motor blew up or something, or maybe like lifted a head or something. But um, turns out the cap we had on that water pump completely just shot off man it shot off that water pump so it shot off that cap on the water pump so it just shot coolant directly under the car and when that coolant hit my um hit my wheels it just completely spun me out of control man there was really nothing i could do at that point like i said i wasn't even on the throttle and it just i coasted for like a second or two and then in the car just kicked out hard it kicked out to the left first i caught it because you know obviously you don't want to go to the left the right side was definitely the better way to go i caught it forced it to the right and then once it started going right i just held on man um i really don't know how i wasn't killed honestly i got very very lucky like i know obviously the car is ruined um so that part of it really sucks because i spent two years building this thing and we built a monster of a motor um but unfortunately you know the car is gone but on the bright side you know you always got to try to find the bright side of things on the bright side the engine's fine that's what we spent the most money on and um and i'm alive dude 
that's the biggest thing man i'm alive so here's the side obviously that fender is completely fucked smashed in it ripped the um outer panel off the door it's over there y'all can see it right there sitting on top of the original doors um it did bend the frame here y'all can see that's obviously fucked up there pretty bad um it bent it down there at the bottom too the wheels are fine i don't know how those didn't take the impact i guess it just hit right beside it so i got really lucky um Obviously, the, the door is fucked. It's all kinds of messed up. It won't even open. Um, trying to think. The rocker is badly damaged. All that's twisted up. The um, quarter panel is obviously damaged. Here in the front, also in the back. So, you can see that. The trunk's a little messed up. Not too bad. It won't open, though. So, something's off with that. Um, but yeah, man, I, I really did get lucky though. It busted out my window. Um, but other than that, everything on the inside is fine. Just a lot of glass everywhere inside there. Um, but yeah, sucks, but you know, I'm alive. That's the bright side of it, man. So here it is. This is the main damage on this side and then the, the front and the bumper, but the frame, the frame portion there, that's one of the major pieces of damage as well as on the bottom on that same side. Um, so it sucks, man. It really does. Um, but it is what it is. I was pretty upset about it for the first couple of days. Um, that night I was really upset about it because you know, I did two years working my ass off, man, to finally get this car done we built a monster of a motor um, and like i said there were still a lot of things that we needed so i needed a hood on the car that way i can make a lexan scoop to really force more air um down into that throttle body that would have pr alone probably been another 20 30 horsepower off of that um so there was some there were some things with the setup man that weren't where i wanted it yet car needed suspension i couldn't i didn't even try to do any um second gear hits third gear it spun every time but still managed to get a 5.01 60 to 130 obviously that's kilometers per hour um but um fucking sucks dude it sucks but i'm alive so it's one of those things, I just dumped so much money into this car, I had $46,000 into this new setup, man. $46,000. To some people, that may not be a lot of money, but to me, I don't make a lot of money, man. Like, I don't make terrible money, but I don't make a lot of money, so that was a lot of money to me. I've never spent that kind of money on anything. Um, I really wanted to do something super crazy, super different, and unfortunately, I ended up having that taken from me pretty much right away. So it really sucks. I'm out all that money. I'm going to try to make some of it back on the motor, the trans, um, wheels, brakes, whatnot, fuel system. But um, yeah, that's pretty much that, man. I mean, I don't really know what else to say. Obviously, it does suck. Had a lot of people messaging me right after it happened. Um, a lot of messages. And I just posted today on my Instagram that the car was totaled and already a lot of people blowing up my messages. I haven't even got to look at any of them yet. But, yeah, man, car's gone. I'm probably going to be done with racing for a little while. Um, I do, uh, I did receive some citations for this accident. Um, I'm not going to go into detail to what they are um, specifically, but all I'm going to say is I do have, uh, they did give me two citations, so those are going to be on my driving record. I've always had a spotless driving record, man. Um, never been in any type of trouble. I don't even I don't do drugs I don't even drink dude I really I don't I very very rarely even drink so like literally maybe twice a year so um like I said I've, I've always been a really good kid I've always had um no type of flaws or anything on my driving record so now I got these on my driving record and the way I look at it right now man is I don't want to go and buy another car buy a roller throw this setup into it and risk 
getting anything else on my driving record. That's the main thing, man. Um, trying to, you know, outweigh the pros and the cons. I, I don't think it's worth risking getting another car right now. Um, maybe down the road, once he's clear off my record, then maybe. But for right now, I think the smartest thing for my future is to just chill out, get a normal daily, and like I said, just chill out. I still want to record, man. I still want to try to get content from y'all. Obviously, since it's not going to be with my car, it won't be as often as I would like it to be. But, um, you know, I still will try to post on the channel because, you know, a lot of a lot of the guys that watch my channel, or maybe even girls too, I don't know if any girls watch my channel or not, but a lot of the people that watch my channel, man, like they enjoy the content, which I know it's not any type of special content. It's not anything super fancy, anything super great, but you know, it, it's content, man. And a lot of people do like watching it. So the few that do enjoy watching my channel, man, I really do appreciate it. Everybody that has been supportive, checked up on me, I really appreciate it. Obviously this is a pretty hard time for me, but um, I'm at the point now where I'm pretty much over it. Like it is what it is. I've just kind of accepted that I have to take the L and keep moving. Um, I appreciate everybody, you know, that tried to help. Um, so a lot of the GPI guys, they started a GoFundMe for me, you know, to try to get me back on the road. I, I didn't know the damage was going to be this bad. I didn't realize that that frame was damaged in those couple spots. So um, they started to GoFundMe, you know, trying to help me out with some of the cost of the repairs. They were trying to, you know, find people to donate parts and whatnot to me. Um, so I'm very, very grateful for all you guys, man, all the GPI guys, um, even the Prey Performance guys, even Brett. Shout out to Brett. Obviously, y'all know we butt heads a lot, but, um, you know, he was also trying to help me out too, man. I've had some people that obviously I'm not on good terms with that still checked up on me after it happened. Um, so that really does mean a lot, man. I really do appreciate you guys. I, like I said, obviously nobody wants this to happen to anybody, man. I would never wish this on anybody. This shit is heartbreaking, but on the bright side, I'm alive and I just got to roll with the punches, man. Like it is what it is at this point. It's over with. I can't change it. And I just have to accept the L and keep moving. I will say there were a couple people that have always acted like my friends. And then once this happened and once people saw that my friends were trying to help me with the GoFundMe, because I never started a GoFundMe. I never asked anybody to donate. When they made the GoFundMe, I didn't even share it or anything. Like I didn't, I wasn't asking for nobody's money. It was just something they were just doing out of the kindness of their hearts, trying to help a friend out. And I will say there were a couple people that, you know, always acted like my friends, would always be in my DMs, um, asking me questions when they had questions, you know, like I said, just acting like they're my friends. And then once that GoFundMe page popped up, then they started kind of, they started basically trying to be essentially disrespectful towards me, man. And, um, I don't know, man, I'm not going to go too far into detail on it, but basically they were they were being two-faced man so those guys y'all know who you are um i know i know who not to fuck with because y'all are obviously some two-faced people i don't fuck with that um part of my language but you know it is what it is like i said i wouldn't wish this shit on nobody even somebody that i hate or very much dislike i would not wish this on anybody man this shit sucks but it is what it is man so with, like i said don't expect a lot of content out of me for a little bit. Um, I still will try to record, you know, whenever I can, whenever I'm invited to things and whatnot. Um, but unfortunately, man, that's the end of that's the end of me, man. That's the end of me with this car. Um, sucks. I didn't want this end to come this soon, but you know, it is what it is, and maybe that's just a sign that I need to, you know, get out of this, get out of this scene for a little bit, man, and just kind of chill out, figure myself out, and um, focus on some other shit, so I appreciate everybody, man, um, if y'all, like I said, man, if y'all want to continue to support me, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, 
if you already are subscribed and you no longer really want to watch my content because I don't have the car anymore, um, unsubscribe, man. No hard feelings. I understand. Obviously, this car is what built the channel, so um, I completely understand, man. No hard feelings on my end. And um, I guess real quick before we end this video, I'm going to just kind of show y'all what I am selling. That way, at least it's out there. Um, if anybody's interested, y'all can message me and we'll go from there. It, I don't know exactly when I'm going to take to start taking the car apart, but so y'all have to bear with me on that. But let me just show y'all what all I'm selling. All right. So let's start with the main part of the vehicle. So the engine, man, hydraulic roller. Essentially the best of the best that you can build. Um, the only thing I will say is that it is, this is not the 9,000 RPM setup from GPI. So um, I do still have stock rockers on this motor, but um, it is a beast, man. Um, so for the engine, I wanna sell it with the intake, not including the throttle body, but with the intake, because the intake is already milled and port matched for this engine. So I wanna sell those two, those things together. For these things, I want 25,000, man, for the engine and the intake. And I know y'all are probably like, holy shit, that's a lot of money. I have almost 30 grand in just the engine alone, man. I added everything up. It's like right at 29,000. So um, that's a stupid amount of money. Like I said, there, this build was essentially kind of an, a no expense spared build. Um, and like I said, I, I wanted the best of the best setups and Unfortunately, that shit is very expensive. So, like I said, I will sell the engine for twenty-five thousand. If you're interested, hit me up. If you're not interested or not serious, man, please don't waste my time. I got enough going on to where I don't want to deal with people that aren't serious. I will sell the throttle body as well. I'll sell that for eight hundred. Um, these black one thirteen throttle body, so it is a one thirteen or one twelve. So y'all can see it right there. It is a 112 throttle body. Those run for like $1,000 new. And then obviously you have shipping and whatnot. It was over a thousand when I purchased it. So I'll sell that for 800. It's essentially brand new. Um, the motor has less than hundred miles on it. Like I said, I barely got this thing running. Um, same thing with the throttle body. Um, the headers, I will sell the headers for like 500 for the pair. Um, those are essentially brand new as well. Those, um, like I, I do have bigger collectors welded on those headers already. And the dumps that I have are three and a half inch dumps with V-band flanges welded on them. So um, I'll sell the headers and the dumps together for 500. Um, trying to think what else. Trying to think what else. LT4 fuel system. So the injectors I'll sell for 400. The high pressure pump I'll sell for 700. Um, the intake pump, I may not even sell the intake pump. Just I may just leave it in the car because it's kind of a lot of work to drop the fuel tank. And for the pump's not even expensive. You can get them pretty cheap. So I don't even know what that's worth taking out. Um, the brakes, I'm gonna see if John will buy the brakes. He told me he was interested. So I'm gonna give him first dibs. But um, if that ends up falling through, I'll sell the brakes. So front and rear, they're Aerospace Pro Streets. Please disregard the dirty ass wheels, um, but they're the Pro Street Aerospace. This is the first design, I believe they changed the design. But I'll sell the front and rears for, say 1500 for both. That's a pretty good deal. They're around, I think 1100 or 1200 each for so like 1100 to 1200 for the fronts and same thing for the rear so they are expensive um the wheels i will sell the wheels alone for obviously i'm going to clean them up good um i'll sell the wheels alone for wheels and tires 2500 um i feel like that's a pretty good deal a pretty good deal too um and then i think the only thing besides that i have is an ox pump the ox pump I'll sell for like 700 on the ox pump. Um, and then actually I'll sell the Kirky too. So I'll sell the Kirky with the, the floor mount. So it's a, um, I'm trying to think. I forgot what the brand of the floor mount was. Oh, it's Planted Technologies. 
So Planted Technologies and a Kirky Seat. I'll sell those for 300, 300 for all of that. And then, I mean, that's basically it, man. And besides that, man, there ain't really nothing else that's good on the car besides the differential. So um, I don't plan on taking the diff out once I get all this stuff sold and out of the car, at least, then um, I'll probably maybe hit up like a salvage yard or something and see if they're willing to buy the car um, as is without wheels or anything. So yeah, man, that's pretty much that. So there you have it, man. I listed everything that I'm gonna be selling. I show you all the damage of the car, explain to y'all what happened. Um, this is one of those things, like I said, man, that was just kind of out of my control. Um, the only way that could have prevented that accident from happening happening was um welding the water pump which um anybody that is doing an oil cooler delete weld that part on the water pump man weld it shut i don't want this to happen to anybody else um weld that shit on the on the water pump weld it shut that way you don't have to worry about that um because like i said man i don't want this to happen to nobody man this shit sucks um you know but like i said it is what it is man so that's that's pretty much it man i can only hope that y'all continue to support me and continue to watch my videos whenever i do post but if y'all don't like i said no hard feelings i understand um i understand you know this car is obviously what made the channel we did a lot of a lot of very impressive things with this car man really the first bolt-on car to go nines a couple other cars have done it since um I did that on C85. So we went 993 with this car um, a few years ago with only bolt-ons. And then we built this monster motor. And a couple weeks later, totaled the car, man. So it sucks. I kind of wish it was something that I messed up on as a driver. That way, you know, that way I wouldn't. I feel like if it was something I did as a driver that caused me to total the car, then I would have felt a lot better, honestly, just like knowing that it was like completely my fault. And um, it was something that I could have controlled and it happened directly because of me. But um, essentially I had a parts failure and that parts failure cost me the whole car, man. So like I said, I should have got it welded. I didn't and ultimately I paid the price, man. It cost me the car, so um, yeah, man. That's really all I can say. It sucks, but hey, we're alive. That's uh, the biggest thing about this whole situation. So um, I just got to try to focus on that aspect of it and, you know, just keep keep pushing, man. So um, it is what it is, man. Like I said, I, I really do hope y'all continue to support me, continue to watch the channel. Um, I, I will keep trying to post and whatnot, but um, as far as for me, and my racing days with this car and whatnot that that stuff is it, it's come to an end unfortunately and um like i said man we had a good time with this car we did a lot of big things um i've had my time to shine a lot of my friends cars are coming back out and you know essentially it's their time to shine man so i'm gonna be on the back burner for a while um will i get back into something i don't know that's something that only time is gonna tell dude it's gonna take time for me to figure out if that's something I really want to do. Um, I'm not sure if I've ever told y'all or not, but I've always wanted a C7Z06. So that maybe could be something that happens down the road. But it, like I said, it's going to be a while because I got to wait. For, I get for sure I'm going to wait until these citations get cleared off my record before I um, before I even try to get into another sports car, man. Because it ain't it ain't worth it ain't worth risking and possibly getting my license taken. And then if my license gets taken, then how am I even going to get to work? You know what I mean? That shit is not worth it. At the end of the day, I put money before everything. And I put my job before anything. So it's not worth losing my license and not even being able to get to work or anything like that. So um, anyways, I know I just I kind of keep just going in circles, man. It's one of those things I don't really even know what to say, man. I really don't even know what to say. Um, but like I said, everything is for sale. If y'all are interested, hit me up. Uh, message me on Instagram. My Instagram is slow underscore LT1. Or if you know me and got me on Facebook or something, you can message me on Facebook too. Um, but yeah, man, I appreciate y'all. Hope y'all continue to rock with me. If not, no hard feelings. And I'll catch you on the next video.